thought I'd show you this. You've seen this yard before. This is the yard that you've heard mentioned in a couple videos now with my father that one of us has been on since the 70s mowing it, taking care of it non-stop. It's never, there's never been a year where we haven't taken care of it. It started out as one of the first ones that my father uh, started taking care of that was not on the block, one that he had to drive to. Because, you know, he just started in the neighborhood and then it just spread out. And this one's actually not too far from our where I grew up. So I would come here and I would sit on the porch and I would talk to the old couple. And they were really, really old at the time. They probably were only around for about three years. Because when one died, then the other one died like a couple months later. So they were probably, to me, it seems like they were like 80s, 90s. And then there was another, there was um, another older couple, and they had a daughter that didn't live here but would come in and out, and I'd see her. Well, so it was, that was the daughter's great grandparents grandparents and she would come in and out well now she lives here so I've worked for her great-grandparents grandparents now her and she actually has a daughter has a baby. So the generations just keep going I'm 43 and I've seen five generations in this house but it's just because of the timing I was a little seven eight year old kid sitting on the porch talking to the oldest and now I have seen the youngest. They've um, they brought the baby out and showed me, and talked to him and stuff. So, yeah, things like that can happen. It's pretty freaky, but that's all about consistency and being loyal to a customer and they're loyal to you. And it's just been, I've been handed down from generation to generation as the lawn guy. First it was my father, now it's me. Okay, freaks. This is the yard that completely burnt out. You remember this whole section right here didn't have a single bit of grass. It was all just like this. So they seeded it, and you can see the seeds down even in the, um, the edge. And so I'm not going to cut this. I'm probably not going to cut like in this area. I'm just going to cut parts. I'm going to blow all these leaves from the street up into the boulevard and mulch it all. Then along here I got a tricky situation. I really don't want to stir up a whole lot of this so I'm probably not going to even do it. I'm not going to go over it yet. I'll let it take a little bit more of a hold but then I will have to start right here. And then the same for the backyard. I won't do this area but then I'll do like from the tree all the way over. Oh, and she has three bags of um, yard waste for me to take away. So, that's what I got going on. Sometimes your yards are a little bit different, a little tricky. Um, you know, when they seed them or they're repairing them and stuff like that. And when the fall comes, it's very common to see yards like right next door. You pull up, the grass barely needs cut but there's always leaves every week. So they still want you to come every week just to keep those off. And that way you can um, have some steady work, you know. I hope you understand. You get out there and you start doing the yards. You'll understand real quick. Things get kind of freaky sometimes. So here's the finished product. I blew it all here and mulched the boulevard, went ahead and edged the sidewalks. I raised my mower up a lot for the front so that it really wouldn't suck up the straw in any seed that hadn't been, you know, germinated yet. Didn't do anything here. Didn't do anything here. Still gotta take one bag to my truck. In the backyard. I started mowing right along here. A couple little paths. And then just kind of went around. 
through all of here. That's just what I did. All right, they called me. My mower is fixed. Wait a second. be my mower. It's the 48 Ferris. This is the new one. This one? Yeah. The double paddle. Oh, just like driving a car. Where's my mower at? Somebody stole my mower. Got my mower. I see my mower. See anything bright and shiny down in here? Damn, looks like I got a heck of a bunch of oil and crap right here. Now they give me an oil change. Being nice to me. It's good. Somebody's being nice to me. <laughs> We'll see what they say. Okay, so I have my mower back, and I'm actually very happy about the situation now. They um, they treated me more than fair, considering the fact that you know it took longer than it should have. They were out all the way through the whole chain for the parts, like, meaning all their stores and um, their suppliers, all the way back to the factory. So it had to come directly. Things had to come directly from the source, the original source. That's what took so long, and. Um, in order to make it up, they actually treated me right. I have brand new blades, and um, my oil has been changed too, so I cannot complain about anything there. And this was um, the bolt that was holding that in, the idler pulley. And look at the look how it's been kind of like cut into and sheared into. And so I'm back in action. Ooh, I can't wait to cut some more grass. Leaving the dealer, I have to come through my favorite little roundabout. It's always a scary scene here. Look how these people kind of don't know what they're doing. Hey now. Hmm. I guess this person in front of me decided not to go. Ever. Freaking ever? Really? Oh, this is gonna be bad. Now there's a bus in there. The bus got in. And I'm in. Here we go. Easy peasy, I got the trailer with me, not a problem. Hey, someone striped that yard pretty good. You wanna see what's up here?
there's a Harley dealership up here. I'm stuck at the red light. Wait, no cop, no stop, right? Let's just go. Freeze Harley Davidson. It's back over here. One day I was coming through here and they had an open house and they had the Captain America motorcycle out there. I was like, wait a second. I gotta go up and see that. I saw a bunch of hugs. Not those kind of hugs. Okay, freaks. I got some Doritos and junk down there. My usual. Here's what uh, here's what the blades are. These are um, the blades that go in a Snapper Pro, 36 inch. This is um, straight out of the box. So look at that edge on it. Chop, chop. Yeah, don't mess with me, man. I got weapons all over in there. I thought I'd show you this yard again. This was the one that they um, they butchered. I guess they cut it again. Um, cut it a little bit higher. They didn't, um, you know what I'm thinking? To be honest, I'm thinking that they might have seen my video because, oh, my dealer, they watch my videos. All kinds of these local guys in town watch my videos. So I really gotta be cool in what I say. But here's what I was gonna show you. Those stumps, they had them taken out. They had them ground up, but you still got all this stuff. I mean, that's, that's pretty deep. It's a big mound, but the stumps are gone. So I'll show you that. Well, that yard's looking real good right there, huh? Lumpy, dumpy, and clumpy. Yeah, I really need to um, just expect or assume that everybody's watching. I'm finding more and more local people because of the, um, once a couple of these local lawn guys found out I was on here, they tell other ones, because everybody knows another couple different ones. Like I talked to two or three people and then they, they're friends with a different two or three people. So it just spreads. And then they might point it out to some friend or family member that says, hey, do you know him? And then now I got a bunch of local people watching me, watching my every move. I don't know if I like that. Okay, I'm getting ready to trim these bushes. Um, not because they asked, but because I just do it for them twice a year and oh, it's time. Just so they don't get up by the windows and look like all shaggy like this. I just keep it back there for them. It shouldn't take me very long at all. I'm gonna put it all in this trash can here, mulch up what I don't need. Just using that, the rake, and the can. Here we go. So when I say that I trim these bushes twice a year for free, the reason for that is because that was one of the incentives that I offered the people to get them to sign on for the weekly service. For those of you that requested my flyer template, um, one of the flyers I used showed, um, that listed that I would trim the shrubs and hedges twice a year at no extra charge for the weekly service. And that was a selling point, but you go, oh no, you're going to get yourself in a big jam but not really because I only picked small yards or yards that had just one or two little shrubs. In this yard right here, this is the only thing that really needed um, trimmed. The rest of it is just flowers around the front that they plant themselves and take in and out. I don't weed the gardens and the flowers. That's their deal, but they don't have to worry about this bush on the side of their house. I take care of it, and it was worth it because I get the weekly service and this was another one it goes from the break of spring till the last leaf 
is off the tree. I'm here every week. And I've said it before, you can give these people even a $5 discount and you'll end up making more money than you would off of some of these other people that their yards either burn out or they don't want you later in the year or they go every other week and you charge them more. It's all, th these weekly ones are better. They're easier to maintain. And if you have to trim your bushes a couple times a year, so be it. As a matter of fact, now I'm playing this back here and it's a double speed. But when I recorded this, it took me just over six minutes to trim this bush. That's how long the video was. Start to finish here, it was six minutes. You're going to watch it here about three minutes because I sped it up to like a little bit over two times the speed. That's not bad. Twice a year, you spend just a little bit over six minutes, you know. Um, and you get a gig out of the deal. So you just, there are a lot of little incentives that you can put on your flyers if you don't want to trim bushes or hedges. And you don't want to have to skip as many yards. Like I wouldn't have put this on a yard that had a million you know, bushes. Um, but if you want to give other incentives like um, a bag of up, you'll, you'll put down weed and feed once for them in the spring. I mean, as a $15 deal you can go buy weed and feed for 15 bucks for a bag and spread it on the yard and it's actually going to make the yard grow better look better and you will leave and you won't have dandelions popping up you know behind you the next day and um so you take your 15 dollar hit there but you get a weekly lawn out of the deal i wouldn't offer it to a every other week lawn offer it to something that you want to take care of weekly and that's their reward for rewarding you with the opportunity to pencil them in as work every week. So really you just get the hedge trimmers out, give it a nice little shape, make it look more uniform, rake up a little bit of the mess, and whatever's left over can get mulched with the mower, or if you have a bagger on it, it'll just get sucked up and taken away. It'll look good. And the people, you know, they're all, they're a lot happier with this service because not everybody offers that. And but I will tell you, if you're going to get involved in a lot of hedge trimming, you need to charge more per hour than what you do for mowing because you can't just go down the street and get some kid to cut your to trim your bushes. You can get him to cut your grass. But you can't get him to edge your sidewalks and make it look good. You can't just go find anybody down the street to come shape your bushes and hedges. Is, you know some of them are shaped like a ball some of them they're all different shapes um, this is the real time here I'm gonna show you exactly how long it takes to cut their front yard here that was the side that we just trimmed the, um, the bush on two minutes and like 12 seconds I believe this was when I looked at the little time and you can see I'm not rushing either so yeah it's kind of true somebody said you're the king of uh, residential lawns. I go, no, nah, but I might be the king of small residential lawns because I purposely go for them. I go to the small lawns and hang these flyers before I'll go to a big lawn. Okay. It's just, I don't know. I prefer these. I like to go here and that way I can do more for the property. I'm not overwhelmed with a lot of mowing or a lot of edging. Well, there can be a lot of edging involved, but it's not a big property that I have to stress out about and I can just show up, treat it like it's my own yard and I don't know, it's just it's just something that I prefer to do and I, I, I'll go down to the old neighborhood and I will just walk around hanging these flyers down there. So sure. In order to make this amount per hour that these other guys are making on the big ranch style yards, then I have to do two of these in the same amount of time. But it can be done. Look, I'm getting ready to finish this and it's like two and a half minutes it took me to cut their front yard and I didn't rush at all.
UK freaks. I got the girls up and off to school. Got their toothbrushes and stuff here. <laughs> it's raining outside. It rained all night long and it's still going. It's not that bad, but I'm not going to even worry about it. More is coming in. I'm just going to let it be. Um, what am I going to do? I'm going to be productive even though I'm not at work. Now, right now, it would be a good time to catch up. First of all, here's my list of yards. I had 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 yards to do today. Now, I wasn't going to get them all done. I was probably only going to make about 8. And 3 of those would have been transferred over to Friday and added with my Friday stuff. And then I probably would have still had to do 4 of them on Saturday. Well, it looks like now Saturday will be a complete day of work. So, at the bottom, you'll see that I have been scratching stuff on here all over there. I make lists. You have to do this. You, you're going to have to make lists. It sounds stupid, old school. I know a lot of you guys use it on your phone and all that, but I do them. I write stuff down and I scratch it off. Now in lawn care, you're going to need a few different lists. You're going to need your list, your, your planner, which I have covered up right over here. That's my planner. I don't want you to see all my, my yards and what I got going on because there's names and stuff on there. Um, you're going to need that. You're going to need your planner where you can plan out your week and then you're going to need to make a list every day before you go out. Like write them down. And if somebody calls you while you're out for some other job, you write it in there and you scratch them off as you do it. You're going to need another list for people who have paid you or owe you. Okay, Some people are going to be still owing you. You have to put like times two or times three if they owe you for three or whatever. And um, it's the most effective way, it, most productive way for me. And I have to do it because I have so many things going on. And I also have to keep writing down on a piece of paper things I need around the house. I need another pillow, all right? I'm tired of my pillow, I need another pillow. I'm getting one of those. Toothpaste, light bulb, smoke alarm. Uh, I dropped my smoke alarm, the one out here. I was trying, it started chirping, I was trying to replace the battery, dropped it, the thing busted. So, I'm going to get that. And the light bulb I'm talking about, little bitty light bulb, I opened the dryer up. And it was dark in there, and I go, huh, I looked around, and there's a light bulb in there, sure enough it's burnt out. So I need a little dryer light. Things like that won't happen. <laughs> you won't think of that unless you put it on a list. Toothpaste, you go to the store, and you come back and you forget your toothpaste, you can't brush your teeth. You know, wash your mouth out with soap. Is that what you're gonna do? I'm not. Stuff, simple stuff like pay credit card bill. Oh yeah, I gotta pay my credit card bill. Make sure it's on time. Transfer funds. Transfer funds so that uh, my insurance, the money's in there for when they take my insurance out. I should go into that in another video. Invoice Patty, invoice Sheila, invoice Woodlawn. These are the three people I have to send an invoice to. Now. You'll notice I mentioned two of them by name and one of them by their street name. That's how I know my people. One's, I could put invoice ugly lawn, right? Uh, some of them are known by their nicknames, some of them are known by their, their name. I have people that pay me, for, like I said, for like the two cuts or three cuts per month, whatever they wanted. And, I, um, and they just send me a check at the first of the month, but they would like a record. So when I get the check, then I send them back what um, it just says paid in full total amount three cuts for October or whatever that way they can I guess claim it on their taxes or whatever because sometimes they they own the house and they're renting it or they're not nothing's happening with it whatever they need it for taxes um, I'm just gonna tell you, you you do need to think about doing lists it, it really goes a long way keeping you a little bit more organized simple and effective it's nothing worse than forgetting a client, forgetting to collect your money, forgetting someone owes you, forgetting, you know, toothpaste and trash bags. When you go to the store, you come home and you, you're all jacked up. You've defeated your purpose because you got sidetracked there. Especially if you have kids. I have to write stuff down that I have to do for my kids all the time. So we were at the car races Friday night, and they had these little um, programs. Inside it's got all the drivers' names and their car numbers and stuff. So, on the outside it says, up here in the top corner, someone advertised. A and M lawn care, a cut above the best. Like, 
the rest. <laughs> Forget the rest, you're with the best. Keep the free lawn care. Inside here, okay, here's another one. Right there. Mow time. It's too bad you don't have mow time to care for, to care for your lawn. I can help you. And he talks a little bit about it. But here's the deal, he's from Panama, Illinois, and he's advertising in this thing that's in my town. I have no idea where Panama, Illinois is, and I've been around here my entire life. So, he's advertising out of his area. Does he really want to get calls from down here in Granite City saying, hey, would you come cut my $30 lawn? <laughs> so think about where you advertise it. That was the problem with the Yellow Book. You advertise, the best advertisement for the phone book was the local phone book. The yellow book went to the whole region. Wow, that's great. It's going to 400,000 households. 400,000 people that don't live near me and are going to call me with nuisance calls. So, um, <laughs> yeah. And more people out there, they're just going to call you asking if you're hiring. So think about that. It's local advertising that's what you're looking for. You're not looking for some big deal. Yellow Book is out. Advertising on something like this, it's going to go around the different towns, out. It's a waste of money. All right. Oh, and on my list is dog groomers. I'm going to get dog shave. Pooper wants a haircut. He's leaving little fuzzy balls everywhere. Fuzzy balls. <laughs> he is. He's leaving these little hair balls everywhere. Time to get him another haircut. He'll be feeling good. He'll feel like a whole new person. He is like a person. I don't really consider him a dog. Yeah, he can't wait to get shaved. I'll take him to the groomer right now. I'm gonna check out my Walmart haul. Let's see, what did I get? I got toothpaste. Two different kinds. I keep it two different places in my house. One in the bathroom, one by the sink in the kitchen. That's right, I'm kind of freaky like that. One of the only pills you're gonna find in the house. Melatonin. This is a natural sleep aid, and I get the one milligram tablets. They, Victoria had trouble sleeping, going to sleep. So one milligram helps her relax, but she doesn't need it all the time, maybe like once a week. But I will, um, when I'm overthinking and stressed out, I'll take two of these to get myself to go to sleep with the kids. <laughs> because you need your sleep, and I'm not like a pill popper, and you shouldn't be either. You shouldn't be running around trying to take all kinds of wacky stuff to get your um, life under control, you know? Really, I limit it to migraine headache pills and that. And, um, Hopefully I won't have a migraine for a few more weeks. Got a smoke alarm, but this was right by the smoke alarm. Impulse buy. Tundra extinguishes fires. Stops fires fast. Grease fires, fabric, trash, electrical. This looks like it'd be something pretty easy to use. I have um, fire extinguishers throughout the house, but this is, um, you know, this is a spray bottle. <laughs> Even my kids could use it, but let's hope they don't ever have to um, spray a fire. If I have a grease fire, like a grease pan of fire, I'm just going to open the back door and throw it in my neighbor's yard. <laughs> it's your problem now. You can keep the pan, too. Another impulse buy. Well, first, the light bulbs I needed. Four of them. Four of them for like two bucks. I could have got the energy efficient ones that's going to last forever. My dryer will probably break before the bulb would, so I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> I bought some of this. This is definitely an impulse buy. Purple Halloween lights. Oh yeah. I got two boxes of those. It's going to get freaky around here. And my kids are going to like that. And if they don't, I will. So it doesn't matter. You ready, boy? You ready? Yeah, you're ready. Don't cry. You're just gonna get shaved. You're just gonna pluck all your little hairs one at a time. 
<laughs> You'll notice my trailer is hooked up. You guys ask me, well, you, you say, hey, you should um, do this or that or store your stuff somewhere else or get a garage you can just back the whole thing into. I'll tell you right now, you guys, it's more of a hassle to unhook a trailer than to just drive with it on, okay? I pull up at the house, I lower the gate. I take off a trimmer and a blower, a 20 inch mower and a walk by. They go 20 feet up my driveway into my garage. Everything's right here in my house, right there. It's all mine. My trailer's hooked up and it stays hooked up all season. It, I unhook it for weddings and funerals. <laughs> That's it. And it's become second nature. I can drive with the trailer. Dude, I tell you what, if I unhook my trailer and I go somewhere and I have to back up, I'm gonna have a hard time. Backing, backing up with the trailer is second nature. Because when I don't have it on there, I have to think about it. I start to back out like I have a trailer on and I'm, look, I look like some crazy driver. It's like the opposite of what it should be. Most people have a hard time backing a trailer in somewhere, but like I said, I've had it on so much that it's second nature. I swoop, I swoop into the dump and there'd be like, Packed. There's cars right. And I pull right between some people and they're like, what the hell? And I pulled in like the wrong way. And they're like, he's never gonna get out of here. And then whoop, back up, and, you know, I'm gone. And they're like, and they're still trying to figure out how to get their little uh, freaking Volkswagens out of there with their one little bag of goods they're gonna put the dump. And they don't know, oh, am I gonna clear anything? And I'm like, flinging stuff out. I'm gone. Ain't got time for this. Got three more yards to cut. Gotta go. Cooper's getting up with the program here. So yeah, I just leave it hooked up all year round. I'm letting you know a little bit about the little, the extra little things about the lawn care lifestyle. <laughs> you get a rain day, you take your dog to the groomer, got some toothpaste, some Halloween lights, Invoice some people, make out a few bills. I'm gonna go to the bank, deposit a few checks. I haven't had time to get in there. And um, I'm gonna swing by the tanning place and see what they can hook me up with. You know? I'm gonna get rid of this um, farmer's tan. Okay, freaks. I'm getting ready to start my first yard. The sun is out. But the water is still everywhere. Look at this. I have the Red Max on the trailer. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use it. You may have seen this yard before. I'm gonna go ahead and do that one. It's an every other week yard, and you know, they're not real particular. So I'll go ahead and battle it with the wet grass, and it'll all be just fine. <laughs> oh, another fine job. Not bad. There's still a little bit of leaves, things like that, but you know, what can you do? It's leaf season. You're not gonna be able to get every one of them. But you can make a big improvement. That's a big improvement on this yard. You can't beat it. One of the best deals in town for both, for them and for me. People wanted to stand there and stare at me. I was gonna put them on video. They left then. <laughs> so here you go. I'm done just in time. This is that twice a month yard. Somebody's moving in next door. But anyway, it looks pretty good for being done soaking wet. But I'm gonna show you a couple things. First of all, whenever I see these signs, I pull it out. Like I pulled it out and put it up on the porch and then I just stomped it back in the ground. That's the best way to do it. I just, I was blowing it off and um, I ran out of gas in my blower, so, hey, hey. Try it, you know. <laughs> I'm not walking back across the street. I parked over there, way over there, because of the moving vans and stuff. <clears throat> he was gonna show you something that I spotted, and just also be proof that I'm not out stealing these things, that they're, I'm actually finding them. Listen, when you have an idea, I've said this before, you go for it. 
you've got an idea, you go for it. See what happens. Don't be scared to fail. Failing is not trying. Try and doesn't work out. Big deal. All right, well, there's some garbage here. I'm an alley picker. I'm going dumpster diving. Okay, see this? That's gonna look pretty good, huh? With some white paint over the whole thing and then dependable lawn care across the front. Yep. Whoa, 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 easy. I'm dropping stuff. Yep. That's what I'm gonna do. I got an idea for next spring. Well, I'm gonna shake it up around this town. Well, they're not gonna know what hit them. I'm gonna have all kinds of hate. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get bulletproof windows. All kinds of stuff is gonna happen. It's all starting right here. You just wait. So anyway, another thing. Well, a couple things. It's getting ready to rain again. So I got some stuff done. Just be happy with that. I had a workout. Oh, it feels good. It feels good hitting the gym more. But look at this tree. Just look at this tree compared to the house. It's the biggest tree in the whole area. You see there's two, four, six, 700,000 leaves on that tree and they're all going in this backyard. I have to mulch them all up in November. Two cuts. <laughs> I might bring you along for the ride. So before I got the kids, I had to do something else. I don't want you to think that I would ever, ever forget about him. I had to get pooper. Woof, pooper. What are you doing? You feel better? You're not so fluffy? You're not so fluffy, baby. You just got right out of the groomer and we got rain done. Let me sniff you. Yeah, you still smell good. All right, now it's time to get the two bozos. <laughs> Here's what it looks like with the old snapper. Compare this to the last couple weeks. The small mower did make it look pretty good, but within one week, within one week, the weather changed, it's dry, it's cold, it's super windy. And there were leaves everywhere. You still see them. You can't get every last one. It's just how it is in the fall. The yards look different. They cut a little bit different. The wind's blowing. It's just how it is. I think I'm gonna end the video here because I need to get on the roll here. I have to non-stop it until probably tomorrow, two o'clock. So here I go. See you next week, freaks.